Let's turn things over to Jeff with a check of the forecast. Hey, Jeff. All right, thanks very much. Pretty comfortable afternoon temperature wise and a mainly dry afternoon as well, save for a couple of spotty showers. Right now we're picking up a uh, some returns across southern Fayette County and a couple more very spotty showers still showing up on radar across parts of eastern Ohio. So not out of the realm of possibility that somebody could pick up a shower or two in the next couple of hours, but they'll be few and far between. Mostly cloudy downtown right now. 69, the dew points at 48, so relative humidity at 47 percent. Northwest wind coming in at 8 miles an hour. 66 in Beaver Falls. Burgettstown, Carnegie, Greensburg, all at 64. So it was Cabot, 68 in Catanning and 67 in Cole Center. By 9 o'clock, we're down into the upper 50s. And by first thing tomorrow morning, our range is going to be probably 48 to 50 degrees to start the day tomorrow. By 10 a.m., about 52 degrees. And temps are going to be slow to climb tomorrow. I think we're going to see more clouds than sunshine once again. Our high will only reach the mid 60s and we'll have a slightly better chance for more of us to catch a scattered shower tomorrow passing through the area, not producing a lot in the way of rainfall, probably a tenth of an inch of rain or less with that spotty shower chance tomorrow. And then a nice stretch of weather takes shape Friday and right through the weekend. We have this upper level disturbance that's slowly working its way through the eastern Great Lakes. It'll be around for about another 24 to 36 hours, close enough that again, it could stir up a couple showers in the area tomorrow. Then it moves out on Friday. High pressure is going to be building in along with it. I think we'll see lots more in the way of sunshine, dry skies and moderating temperatures over the weekend. We should be back into the low and even mid 70s by the early part of next week. Hurricane Irma still a category five storm. Maximum sustained winds near the eye of 185 miles an hour. The overall movement to the west northwest will continue. And then it looks like once it gets just to the south of Florida, it's going to make that hard right turn and maybe either make landfall around the Miami area or stay just offshore and maybe kind of move parallel to the east coast of Florida. So once it gets here, things are a little bit up in the air as to where it's going to exactly move if it makes landfall or stays just offshore. Nonetheless, the impacts will be felt across the peninsula of Florida and its position by Monday at 2 o'clock should be near or just north of Jacksonville with potentially another landfall, the first or maybe the second, taking place near the Georgia South Carolina state line Monday night into Tuesday. Patchy clouds here at home, 50 the low tonight. Tomorrow, high temperature 65, mostly cloudy, a spotty shower in the afternoon. Clouds and sunshine Friday, 67 and lots of sunshine Saturday, Sunday and Monday. By the early part of next week, we're back into the low and mid 70s.